Yeah. This week's breed in focus is the Brussels Griffin, a toy breed originating from the city of Brussels in Belgium. And they were bred, yes you were, to hunt and kill rats. Not that little Louis here would harm a fly. Maybe. <laughs> These gorgeous little characters have been around for 200 years and are best known for their trademark beards, almost human expressions and proud appearance. They're super eager to please and bond well with their owners, making them great little companions. Mm -hmm. As well as many other breeds, they do require a lot of attention, so they don't do well being left alone and they need an owner that will devote time and energy to them. Yes, they are very intelligent, but they can be stubborn and just a tad demanding, sorry Louie, so obedience, training and patience is a must. They may at other dogs or strangers, which can become a bit of a problem, so early socialisations and again that training is really important. Yeah, I've certainly seen them underestimate their size and try to dominate larger dogs, but generally get on well with other pooches and cats. However, if you've got a pocket pet, like a rat, then you need to be extra careful. Like most small dogs, their size makes them vulnerable to kids dropping them or falling on them. And they also prefer to be the centre of attention, mm -hmm. so they may not suit families with young children. Given their small size, they are good for apartment dwellers and homes with smaller backyards, but they're very active dogs, so they need a lot of daily exercise to avoid problem behaviours with frequent walks, games of fetch, yeah, and other activities. They can have a smooth and silky or a rough and wiry coat that Louis clearly has here. This needs brushing a couple of times a week and it needs to be clipped, doesn't it? Or the hair needs to be stripped to get rid of these wiry bits. <laughs> Brussels griffins typically live from 12 to 15 years. They're generally considered a healthy little dog, but being brachycephalic or short-faced, they can be prone to airway disease and ophthalmic or eye problems and should be carefully examined by your veterinarian for these issues, particularly if you notice shortness of breathing, snoring, squinting, redness or cloudiness and mucky discharge in the eyes. Other health issues seen in the breed include patellar or kneecap luxation, progressive retinal atrophy and syringomyelia but responsible breeding can help to reduce the likelihood of these conditions. So of course, like with any disease, early detection is really important. So if you're ever unsure, make sure you visit your vet. And of course, having pet insurance can help too. Definitely. Hey, you did well, Louie. You did yeah. well. To learn how HIF pet insurance can help your pet in times of need, visit hif.com.au.